So, this week... It was a big weekend. Yeah, San Diego Comic Con. I want to go so bad. Like, yes, we want to go. Oh, so far Comic-Con. away. And not the Australian Comic Con. Well, well it's oh. it's getting there. It's rising. Just need to bring more of the stars and the... And the what do you call it? The um, the new releases, the, the, the reveals that they show at... at, at Comic Con, but America gets it all first. Like that, of that's, course, that's the thing you want to be in Hall H with everyone else. Yeah. Thank you to the lovely pirates who brought their phones out and risked <laughs> getting kicked out. <laughs> but um, trailers they showed a sh- like a shitload of trailers for the m- movies coming out next year. But before we get to that, there was something special also on this weekend for us. Yes, we saw Batman: The Killing Joke Ooh. by um. Adapted for the, by uh, from the graphic novel by Alan Moore, like it's like this is like an acclaimed graphic novel. So it was rated R for the Americans. Yeah, which but, us was which just is rated M. No, 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 rated M. Really? Yeah, rated M. Wow, rated censorship M. in America. Well, there are in America. It's like it's like our M, pretty much. I thought their M was our P, like their PG thirteen. Well. <laughs> We got a weird rating system in America. It's it's really weird, but anyway, Batman the Killing Joke. Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill return the, respectively as Batman and the Joker. Uh, Joker. Uh, so they started doing that in 1992. Was it 92 when Batman the Animated Series came out? Oh my God, it's so long. But that would start. That would that changed everything with animation. Yeah. Um. And then of course they did that for a while, and then other people had a. Turn it, playing the so, Joker, yeah, they they uh, they, they would come. Along. I mean, Kevin Conroy always did Batman pretty much for some of the animated films, and but then yeah, someone else came along and, and did their voices. Mark Hamill had a had a life outside of, <laughs> out of Batman, just a smidge. He's only like an icon for several other franchises. Yeah. Um, but he, but Mark Hamill, the thing was is that a lot of people didn't expect him. To do this because after the first two Arkham Asylum games, so the Arkham series, yes. the Batman games, he had said no more. Uh, he wasn't doing it anymore. But then, of course, they animated uh, the Joker with a script laughing and stuff. Yeah. And so he did the third one and the news broke the killing joke and that. But then uh, Mark oh. Hamill always said that if there was ever one story he really wanted to do the Joker for it was for the... Oh, well, he's a fanboy as well. Killing Joke, yeah, he's a big fanboy. Yeah. Plus, I reckon, like, I heard, like, the John DiMaggio version and of all the Jokers and stuff like that, but when I hear that laugh that, like, Mark Hamill does and stuff, like, that's... That's the guy. Yeah. That's... Mark Hamill is the Joker. Although I'm holding reservations for Jared Leto. <laughs> <laughs> that's looks like. Animated Joker. Animated, animated Joker. Joker. Yeah. Um, and it's done pretty well. Yeah, it's um, number three at the box office over the weekend. Not over the weekend. Um, that's only counting, this was only counting... Domestically. Uh, domestically. In the so US. The US. Uh, so it grossed over $3 million in the US. Uh, they haven't counted it for... International. International, but, I mean, we went and saw it at the Randwick Ritz. Ritz Cinema. And it was pretty full. Yeah, it was full. And, cool. yeah, and they had, like, a two-tiered section and stuff like that. And yeah. We saw it. It was pretty good. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I read The Killing Joke back when it came out. And um, for me, there was an exposure. Like, I'd never seen, like, an, an adult kind of storyline before. I uh, had. In, like, especially in Batman. In Batman. No, yeah, the vampire one. There was a vampire Batman uh, movie. Uh, comic thing. Pretty sure it was. Vampire comic Batman movie thing. Yeah, animated. What? It's pretty grim, yeah. Oh, uh, that must have... Oh, uh, okay. We're talking about this. I know, but I'm just I'm just saying, like... But it was pretty good. I mean, I'm not... Uh, he's the DC fanboy more than I am. I mean, Joker and, like, Harley and that represent something different to me altogether, but... I liked it. It was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, I was surprised with the um, that they added a 
like a backstory to a Barbara Gordon backstory and and which a lot of people weren't actually very happy about. Yeah, and the whole controversy reason... of got Barbara having sex with Batman, you know, it's like yeah. but it's kind of weird because like Batman's kind of like the father figure and then like they kind of they kind of did it. I'd say she had daddy issues, but she doesn't. She <sighs> She's got her own daddy. She and her own dad had like pretty <laughs> pretty strong relationship there. Um but I mean, for someone I didn't, I didn't know any different. Like, from when yeah. I was watching it, when I was watching, I was like, I don't remember that being in the book. I didn't, you know? I didn't mind it. I was like, yeah, okay. I, didn't, I didn't mind. I mean, it's, I it's mean, an adaptation. Like, yeah, people in the cinema are like going, what, what? But the, those same people also had a problem with the ending. But it was like, yeah, the ending was like, what? That's it. That's it. Ripped off. But Batman loved. Like, read the book. It's like that's yeah. If DC could get Batman to laugh, then they need to fucking talk to their directors of Superman because something's not right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's kind of been like a controversy surrounding it. But I, I mean, I don't, I didn't, I didn't read it. Didn't detract anything from the story. To me, it made sense in that kind of storytelling, like why there was like frustrations yeah. and stuff like that, and uh, I guess a greater gravity of anger and it kind of shows you how Batman in the end like because obviously he had this relationship with Barbara didn't know how to feel about it and then Joker like hurt her like, yeah pretty pretty badly and messed so, her up and then but in the end for him to be by the book and didn't hurt like didn't go out and actively smash him smash him and stuff so I mean I understood it in that kind of storytelling sense in this thing but I guess if you're a comic, if you're that no, kind it was of good. I mean, it's, dedicated you know, he's, he was trying to help the Joker in the end. Yeah, you know? so yeah. That was that was a good joke though. In the that in was the a good end. joke at the end. Funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I liked it. Yeah, I I, I give it four, four out of five. Four out of five. Jokers. Four out of five. Yeah. So trailer report on our very long list of trailer reports. Our first one. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I'll come out and say it. You know, I you know I'm diehard you know Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman fan, fan, and growing up with Super Friends, the Super Friends, and Linda Carter. To me, Linda Carter is is always will always be Wonder Woman. So it's, it's gonna be very hard to fill those shoes for someone has an image of what Wonder Woman looks like. You know, this strong Amazonian woman. So you know, Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman now. So pretty much gotta accept it. It's um, being helmed by a female director. Yes. The first big... Patty Jenkins, I think. Hundred hundred million dollar budget. Yeah. I feel like this, this is kind of like a double-edged sword thing. Like, yeah, great. We've got female directors and we're getting females in the industry and it's a big, big project. But at the same time, you've got you've to gotta have balls to sign on to a DC film yeah. at the moment because... DC is not having a good track record. It's not a record. good run. But I mean, seeing the trailer, all the images were there. You know, when you read Wonder Woman, you know, World War One, and she didn't fly by. Yes, she hasn't flown yet, which is, you know, which still is my biggest like plot hole. Bothering uh, me. Uh, Batman vs Superman. Of why? Uh, she just Diana didn't just throw him into the throw sun. Throw him into the sun. Well, probably she didn't. Know. Fucking Lois Lane was right there, and yeah. she Lois knows. Yeah, I Lois know. knows. So, but I mean, it also stars Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. Chris Pine's getting around a lot now, isn't he? Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's a pretty chill dude. He's a good actor. Mm. Um, her rope glowed, which was great. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm i not by any means the biggest DC fan. Um, I guess I've only just watched like sporadically cartoons and whatnot. So the only things that I know about these characters is what I've seen from like Teen Titans and Justice League. <laughs> um, we'll see next year, you know, when it comes out. So, I mean, I get to I get to go into these, I guess I'm lucky in the ways, I get to go into these with, like, a sense of, like, oh, it'll be fine, like, for me. Yeah. But for you guys, I mean, it takes on a bit of a, bit of a hard, harder meaning. Like, yeah, because we all have our own image of what she looks like, and, but, you know. But, I mean, you got to see some cool things, like World War One and... Yeah, like I said, all the elements are there. Discount Asgard. And... <laughs> so it is, yeah. And which leads into J 
Justice League. Justice League. It had, a, it, had a, it wasn't really a trailer. It was more like a like a sizzle reel of yeah of of a of meetings and stuff yeah. like that. But you know what I liked about this? Like uh, it, this trailer hasn't been super well received. No. But Batman was fucking funny. He was funny. Ben Affleck was funny. And like that dry wit that Batman has. Yeah. Like it's like Ben Affleck might be saving Batman. Not that there was anything the no. Batman movies have been good. No. Like they've been kind of true to I like this, ba- true this to Batman form, to but me this is Batman the, is the, like the Batman. Is is pretty good. If we can only get fucking Henry Cavill to smile, <laughs> someone get him some oral B or something. <laughs> Clearly something's going wrong with his tooth region that he doesn't feel comfortable to be like <laughs> But um, but, they yeah. also they, like um, they had um, the interaction between Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen, the Flash. Ezra Miller's playing the Flash, but this inter- iteration of the Flash is like hmm, in, like different because Barry Allen is works with the police, forensics, and this guy just looked like a kid hacker. That's what I thought. Like, that's what, what I thought. Ba- I thought that's what um, the Flash was. I thought he was just a kid. No, it's he's not. He's he's a cop. But this this guy didn't look like a cop and. I mean, there's there's your comedy there, your comedy relief, but like, why is the Flash? You can, I was we were right about the the armor. The Flash is wearing the armor very similar to Justice Gods Among Us. Yeah. And like, why does the Flash need armor? I liked I liked the whole dodging scene of the, uh, the batarang. batarang, and he's like, "Can I keep this?" Yeah. That was funny. Um, and then you got to see the first interaction, and you, the kind of like first look of Jason Momoa, Momoa as Aquaman. Aquaman. Those weird eyes. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Like, I thought Aquaman was like blonde hair, blue eyes type CB. Well, he's meant to be, but they made him look different, which I don't like. I, personally, I don't like the look of... I do. Just oh, I Aquaman. Like that. I like that look really much. So, um... But having said that, I mean... And and I like the fact that um, Bruce Wayne, Batman, said the same thing that everyone else is ever said about Aquaman, so I hear you talk to fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what else does he do? But I guess that's my, maybe why Jason gets to look hot now, because he gets to look hot and talk to fish. Yeah. What's his, what's his, Arthur... Arthur Curry is his name. Arthur Curry. Yeah. What a weird name to pick. We also got our first look at uh, Cyborg. Mm-hmm. He was in it very, very briefly. Very, very briefly. But yeah. he looked cool. Yeah, shots of the mother mother boxes, ancient times. It's my, it must have been around. Infinity Stones. <laughs> <laughs> Someone at DC's, they've got like a board meeting and, you know, someone's like, we should make it true to the comics. We should um, we should ask the fans what they want. And then the one guy said, we should do what Marvel's doing. The first two got kicked out of the room and fired and the third one got promoted and was like, yes! <laughs> Skull Island Kong. Kong. Yeah. So, so Tom Hiddleston. A- apparently, Skull. well, last I heard, this was um, in the same con- like universe as Godzilla. A plan- they're planning to possibly have them battle it off. Like What, like Brian Cranston and Aaron Taylor's Godzilla? Yes. Ah. Yes, that's... that's I mean, I heard that report. Is there any seconds? A on while the... ago. I thought they were filming that already. No, not yet. Um, the director's busy, and plus the new... Japanese, the Toho company Godzilla Resurgence is coming out. So yeah, and that got a US release as that's well. Gonna that's gonna be that's gonna look good. I, I mean, I love I love Toho Japanese Godzilla. I mean, this is a return for after so many years of the original. You know, Godzilla and this is back. like man in the suit type stuff. Yeah, CGI man in the suit. Um, but this this one, I don't think there's been. Has there been a King Kong movie since Peter Jackson's no, one? No, no, so this will be the first one since Peter Jackson's one, which I still haven't watched. The trailer, the trailer was interesting. It kind of looked a, a combination of um, Apocalypse Now and, and something. All the, all the imagery of the helicopters going to the sun, and it had a, it had a weird seventies feel, like the like the nineteen seventy six Godzilla film. Yeah, as well. It was like interesting. So, from what you can get from the report is that, uh, or from the trailer report, uh, Tom Hiddleston is his mates are. Uh, investigative journalists they're just looking in the island which is but the lead the um guide. leader of the the guide shall we the, say? yeah john goodman john goodman yeah who is looking so good in the <laughs> like 
he's like lost a lot of weight and he looks younger. Yeah. Like I think the last time I saw him, saw him, I was like, Jeff Goodman's on his deathbed. Well, he looked oh he looked God. pretty pretty creepy in um, Cloverfield Lane, Ten Cloverfield Lane. But he still looked like that old guy type yeah. thing. But in in here, I don't know. Maybe they've done that CGI stuff to his no, face that they've no, done no. to, like, um... But I was surprised to see, what, what's Sam Jackson? Is he, like, just in Sam every Jackson movie? Sam Jackson is in everything now. <laughs> it's the best. Every movie needs Sam Jackson. There's a My Little Pony uh, movie coming up. Throw Sam Jackson in there. <laughs> Get one of those little things to say, fuck you. So, yeah. That looks interesting. I'm looking forward to Kong. Yeah. Well, while we're kind of on the... Wild Ape Things and Sam L. Jackson. He was in Tarzan. I haven't seen Tarzan. I saw Tarzan. And just, if you're going to go see Tarzan, just know that you're in for, like, some Skarsgård's porn. That's the best thing. The whole movie, without giving it away, comes down to how well he can ripple his neck muscles. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Uh, the s- second trailer. The second trailer. So we still got trailer. one more. Well, it depends. It, this could be the. This could be it. The final. The final trailer. But this was. This was like really cool. Like told the story pretty much, and see the bad guy. Mads McKellison. And like really trippy imagery. Tilda Tilda Swinton. Which people are still not liking her as the ancient one. Eh. I wonder if this is gonna be interesting. If this is gonna hurt the film because of the whole whitewashing thing controversy because a lot of films that had that problem with whitewashing have not done too well at the box office I think Benedict pulls his own weight and the fact that a lot of people have been waiting for the Sorcerer Supreme yeah which, sounds like which, a pizza which was reports that today that it should I'll let her tell it no that's for another episode well, we might as well oh yeah okay <laughs> um I, I'm like looking for like it the trailer is so shiny. Like, shiny. Shiny. Like in the way that like all the buildings like collapsing in on itself and the all the very, very, interdimensional very inception traveling. style. Yeah. And I was like, Oh I wouldn't want to see this movie in three D because it'd fuck my eyes up. Imagine it would be like a ride. That oh, bleh. I was getting motion sickness watching it. I was like, I need to steady cam myself and go with them. <laughs> But other than that, it looks cool. And I will say that I am waiting for, like, Martin Freeman to show up at the end or something, like, just doing paperwork. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Because bros before hoes, man. (laughs) They're just in everything together. I think Martin probably got in the job. Like, hey, guys, if you're ever looking for another main actor, I know just the guy. Yeah. And it's the same other way. Guys, you need a funny sidekick? I got this guy. And then, can we point out that this is one of the very few uh, posters that we see Benedict Cumberbatch's face? His face. Not his back. Oh, this is back. half of his face yeah. <laughs> and superimposed onto his hand. Yeah. But it's better than Benedict Cumberbatch. Just like... He's got a nice back, but I like his face better. Yeah. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Yes. The Prequel to... This- the Harry Potter series. No, it's not a prequel. Sorry, it my is bad. Not oh my a God. prequel. I've just been like, like what do you call it? Prequel. Uh, the one that you just butchered was Avada Kedavra, and that was the <laughs> Killing Curse, and that is an unforgivable curse. Okay, so you've just caused like a giant sin. You've ripped your soul in half. You could make Horcrux and live forever, but you're only going to be half yourself. So, basically, it's just following the life of Newt Scamander, who wrote the said title book, um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and it's kind of exciting because we leave Britain with him and travel to New York, and you get to see the Americans and the American Society of um, of Witches and Wizards, and I think their council is called Salem, Um and and basically Newt is collecting monsters or creatures and to study them and uh with the permission and help from Albus Dumbledore, who's probably still only teaching like transfiguration at this point and is not the professor. Uh 
So, but his case gets opened and all the magical creatures come out and start running around. And you know what? I just had the main villains guy in in my face in my head his name and i have forgotten it now i have forgotten it now because you know what i watched the trailer and i was like this guy's in it yes so make sure you look out for this guy this guy colin farrell colin farrell is the bad guy or he looks like the bad guy make sure for look out for this guy who colin, colin farrell, farrell. Spider Man Homecoming. Yeah. So they didn't release a trailer as much as they did like a combination, like a sizzle reel of um his things and mixed in with um the Captain America stuff, but they did release a couple of pictures. Yeah, uh, uh, concept art. Concept art of him fighting the vulture. <sighs> I really didn't want Michael Keaton to be the vulture. Why? Cause like it's such a like a when I think of the vulture, it's such a, like a uh, roll. Just give him. Like, a like Michael Keaton. Give him a chance. Make him. Make him. Um, make him. The Green Goblin or something. Give him a chance. So they'll do. I well. still. I'm. I. Th- I still think Willem Dafoe is the Green Goblin. It, Can't. It, it be is pretty good. Willem Dafoe. Suicide Squad. I'm so excited for this film. I'm so excited. This might be DC's turning point. As a good, as a, as a as successful, successful crowd pleasing film, crowd pleasing, semi to the story type thing. Yeah. For the San Diego Comic Con, they released a Sizzler reel and a Joker trailer. Yeah, so Joker we promo. we for for now from up until this point, we hadn't actually seen much of the Joker. Um, everyone thought that he was going to be like the main antagonist because yeah, that's, that's how he'd be been be portrayed. So he's actually not, from what I understand, he just spends the whole movie trying to bust Harley out or something along those lines of trying to get Harley back, but she's mad at him. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited for Yeah, it's looking movie. good. Margot looking Robbie to seems to be like really undertaking like this role, like mm. super... I, I think everyone who was involved in this was, like, super into it and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, even Will Smith turned down Independence Day. Yeah. Despite the fact that he did ask for a lot more money and <laughs> did, didn't get it. It's like, Will Smith, come on. You, you, you're that hard on money, you can't do a little bit of, like, fan service. Mm. You can't just, you know, you have to be a fucking oil painting in the White House. Bet he charged for that, too. See, this is what this is probably what DC is not used to. Like people, are like yes, let's go. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens when this comes out. Uh, and of course, some more like funny eclipse from um the San Diego Comic Con was of course Henry Cavill going in disguise as an anonymous because yeah. he wanted to go see the Suicide Squad Panel. guys and yeah. stuff and that that little video of like Will Smith just like oh yeah okay no worries man sign it grab a photo and then Henry takes it off and he's like oh. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Like I love it when people do that. I want to get to that stage where I can just wear a mask and go incognito to go around the con. But I want to be famous first. All right, let's Although it's a bit first. hard to like disguise all of this. <laughs> I'd make a great job of hut. All the trailer links will be down below. And or you know, most of them have just come out by Warner Brothers. You can just go to there. Warner Brothers site. So we'll, we'll, we'll attach the links down below. Subscribe, Facebook. Twitter. All the trailer links will be down below. Or you can look on the Warner Brothers site. Yeah. Most of them come out by Warner Brothers. We'll attach the links. Our next reviews will be Ghostbusters and Star Trek Beyond. So, catch you next time. See you later. Bye.